All right, so we're almost coming to an end and I wanna see if you have a very good memory. Remember when I discussed the term sustainability? We're going to wrap up this unit with the concept of sustainability and divide it into three classes. Our first class is going to be what is meant by ecological sustainability. We're going to watch a video and reflect our role as global citizens towards the environment. Look at this lovely poem that's very straightforward and direct and discusses what is sustainability in terms of the environment and how we humans participate drastically to the well-being of our surrounding. So I want you to keep this in mind because this indicates how we are global citizens. Moving on to our next class, we're going to move towards the second pillar, which is economic sustainability. What do I mean by economic sustainability? Make sure you watch the first tutorial video to have a good understanding of what is meant by economic sustainability. All right. Then we're going to have a very short pro project that we're going to do together in reference to text A, B, C. These are all images, as you can see, that reflect economic sustainability. Now, you may tell me, no, miss, some represent environmental sustainability. My answer is going to be yes. Keep this in mind. There may be a connection amongst economic and ecological and social sustainability. Coming to an end, we are going to look at our school one more time, like we did for Maslow's Hierarchy of Need, and discuss how our school promotes sustainability, whether social, economic, or ecological. I found this lovely video that could somewhat represent social, environmental, and ecological, economical. All right, so make sure you take a look at the video, brainstorm slightly before we come to an end, as you can see at the end, prepare yourself, review the E2 study guide so that we can have a successful revision week. If you have any questions, don't hesitate and contact me.